welcome to the new vlog excuse my look uh, I look a little bit messy and also I don't know if it's allergies or I'm getting a cold but my eyes are really itchy and my nose is runny but today is my rest day and I decided to move along and finally start my competition canvas you can see the rando at the back I'm taking part in the art in bloom competition every year underground is having a competition for the best garden on the underground and it's the stations and train depot that take part and this is the second year that there is another category and this category is art in bloom so last year i've entered and i got second place and i thought i'll try again and i just started on this canvas <sighs> it gave me so much headache first of all i didn't know what i wanted to do i knew i wanted to do more than or something to do with more than because the garden is always so beautiful and this year he had some peaches and some cherries so i thought i will include that and he had a lot of flowers as well uh, I'm not very good painting flowers, but I kind of went for an abstract <laughs> abstract theme and I was really struggling with the color palette. I think I've just chose too many different colors. <clears throat> and only when I added that turquoise as a highlight, things started to make sense to me. Um... I don't know like it was the thing that I was missing so I feel with this turquoise I finally started liking this canvas and yeah it's still not finished I'm gonna look at it for a few days and figure out what I want to do with it and do I want to add something and definitely need to add more than on the rando but I kind of have to look at it and see what I want to add. Maybe I want to take something away. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is what it's looking so far. Welcome, today is Sunday. I was supposed to go to a work barbecue today, but I wasn't feeling well. So I decided to make use of my time and paint another underground station. Today I'm painting um, Good Street Station and this is what I have so far. So I'm using Google Earth to actually um, find images of the stations and I'm working on this Clairefontaine paper and I've managed to do all the sketching and inking and I'm gonna go in with some watercolors now once the ink is dry so yay me that would after this one it would make 11 stations to go so we're getting there station um, hopefully you can see I don't know as soon as I move the camera is going funny but yeah this is it um, so that would be station 41 I think which means I've got 11 more to do um, which is okay uh, it took a while I, I do feel it is a little bit dark maybe but I don't know that's just the colors of the buildings around so I'm trying to stick to the colors as they are um, but yeah I've added the little guy with the dog 
um, just to make this scene a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so I think I'm done for today. I've got work early tomorrow morning, so it's going to be an early bedtime for me today. Um, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of what I have left of this Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, actually. Sunday evening. And then head to bed and get to work tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, it is Wednesday 19th of July. I'm currently in a car and we're driving to Lee Valley Sports Center or something like that. And today is the day we're doing white water rafting. So I thought I'm gonna hopefully show you a few clips from the day out. We're going with my friends from work. So I think there will be eight or nine of us all together and I think it's gonna be so much fun. I've never done it before. So I'm a little bit anxious, but I think, you know, it's going to be a great day. So hopefully I will manage to record a few clips and put them in this vlog. So I'll catch you later. probably seen some pictures or you're gonna see them in a minute uh, my partner was there taking pictures I actually went under we went on this rapid and I uh, went under with three other people and then I went under the boat and I could it feel the boat sliding the the over my heart and I was like oh my god am I gonna die here today or not <laughs> but I went again and again I think we've done four rounds all together and oh my gosh highly recommended so much fun so much adrenaline it was lovely and the water was nice it was like 19 degrees uh definitely would do it again so if you're ever in lee valley white water rafting center definitely do it, it was really really so much fun hello I've got a couple of deliveries here today. This one uh, came from France. It is the Stablo, Stablo uh, uh, plane and sketching uh, board thingy majiggy. And I think I'm gonna leave unboxing this one for another video because I wanna unbox it, I wanna show you and I want to take it out and test it. I'm going away for a, a short holiday soon and I thought it would be so nice to take it with me and yeah have a go with it. It was expensive I'm not gonna lie and it took me a long time to actually decide whether I want to buy it or not. I ended up ordering it because I was considering making my own but I thought you know I'm gonna put in all this time and effort and maybe it won't turn out the way I would want it to so I decided to order one so yeah I'll leave this one for another separate video so look out for that one and here oh no as you can see I've got another Jackson's box I've ordered some acrylic paints and some catalogs as well to have a look at and yeah we can unbox it really quickly and then I'll show you what I got Okay, so first things first, um, I actually ordered a couple of catalogs. 
I've ordered a watercolor paints catalog and it basically is a catalog of all the watercolor stuff that Jackson has on offer. I think I always been one of those people that like to have a paper copy of everything actually whatever I got any agreements or <laughs> anything bills I like to keep a paper copy I just find it more comforting comforting to hold something in my hand and I think you know it's nice to have a catalog of all the colors that they do and all the materials because it's easy to find at least you know at least for myself I do like browsing online as well but I think when it comes to specifics I like to see a catalog because I can see everything without searching for it for ages so I've got a watercolor one and I've got acrylic catalog as well so everything to do with acrylic painting and brushes paints boards canvases everything you can you might need for acrylic painting is in here and I think I think these were just one pound so it's not a lot of money and I think I will find them useful right so these are the colors that I've ordered I've ordered a big tub of white and I think I go through white paint quickly and I thought this will be a good investment it will last me for much longer I've also got um, yellow ochre because I've run out of yellow ochre or I just have a little bit left so I've ordered yellow ochre but I had to go for um, expert acrylic series instead of the standard one because in a standard one they don't do yellow ochre I think I was looking like they have like different names and stuff but I was looking specifically for yellow ochre and uh, that's why I went for expert I also have cadmium yellow light because the only uh, yellow paint I had I had lemon yellow I think and uh, cadmium yellow medium and I got two blues, one ultramar ultra ultramarine, ultramarine, I don't know how to accent that one, but I didn't have ultramarine in my paint stash, so that's, that, that, that's why I've ordered, and I think it's one of the basic colors that I should have in my uh, collection. And I have thalo blue as well, I've got Prussian blue, and I have um, a lot of Thalo greens. Turns out I had three or four of them from different brands. And yes, yeah, so I haven't got Thalo blue, so I ordered Thalo blue. And I have Van Dyke brown as well. Uh, this is the color that I didn't have. I was recently trying to um, recreate a painting that one of the artists on Instagram uh, did and I was missing those basic colors basic colors I will put a little clip here somewhere to um, for you to see what I've done and my my goal behind doing this was to practice more like easy not easy but like more free brush strokes and more looser black brush strokes and trying to each achieve this um, I don't know this looseness in the painting um, so yeah I'll put a short clip there um, don't judge <laughs> I'm not very good doing things like that but I think we are all here to learn we are all learning like you know even if you're an expert you are still learning every day so this is my learning process <laughs>
these are my colors. So we have from here, we, it's cadmium yellow light, yellow ochre, Van Dyke brown, this is ultramarine, and this is thalo blue. As usual, I I am going to wait for them to dry and I'm going to cut them into my little circles and they can go in my swatch circles box. Also, a quick update on my painting. This is where we are. I've added a little bit of this lavender color to the flowers. I think it ties everything nicely together. I've done the outlines for the roundo, as you can see here. I've, and also I've added those butterflies as you can see I think they kind of add a little bit of a character to the painting as well so yeah this is where I'm at and it needs um, uh, it needs a not a signature needs a name needs a uh, modern to be done in the middle as well but I just didn't have time to do it I need to cut out a, tem a template and then hopefully do it and then I don't know I don't know if I should add anything else let me know in the comments if you think it needs something extra or a little bit of that extra oomph <laughs> Hello, we decided to go for a nice evening walk. Um, my Apple Watch badge this month is to do 4.7 miles for 14 days. So I think I'm six days short to actually complete the challenge and get my badge. So we were just thinking, oh, should we watch a movie? Hands are shaky thinking there he is we're thinking whether to watch a movie and then we decided to just go for a walk it's quite nice it's not hot and we're kind of getting the golden hour vibes so we're just walking we need to do one and a half miles and we chose to go up this hill and we've got golf course on each side and it's it's getting a bit steep a bit more further on so just going to get the steps and get the mileage and hopefully close that ring for today. But let me show you the views. to show you this uh, on my road there's a few post boxes we're in the UK if you didn't know but yeah we've got a few post boxes and there's a Stanmore crochet or craft club or something like that and they actually make decorations for the post boxes sorry, sorry. <laughs> This one's got this blanket on and they change them from time to time. So when it was winter, we used to get like snowmen and snowflakes and stuff like that. Then uh, on activity scenes and now it's uh, those hands, I think, because they're promoting the uh, knitting and crochet club, crocheting club. So they put those hands and different things. But I think it's such a cool thing. If I come across another one, uh, maybe on the way back, I'll show you another one that's closer to my house.
we're just back from the walk and uh, just chilling on the swing for a bit. To the crows crowing, <laughs> and it's such a nice evening. It's actually quite nice. It's like uh, it's not very summery because it was quite chilly today, but it's nice. And we're just chilling on the swing for a bit, and then I'm going to head to bed because I've got work tomorrow. And yeah, the weekend starts for me at work. <laughs> so hopefully you have a nice weekend. And I think I will close this vlog here. Otherwise, it's going to be horribly long. And once again, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.